In this tutorial, I'm going to recreate the Shopify menu cart using WooCommerce and Divi. The first step is to display the cart icon and the cart quantity in our Divi menu. In the next step, we will hide the text items beside the cart quantity number. In the third step, we will add a nice circle background like a bubble behind our cart quantity number. In step four, we will replace the default Divi cart icon with a nice minimalistic shopping bag icon. And in the fifth step, we will hide the cart quantity number zero when the cart is empty. In the last step, we will add a hover effect when you hover the cart icon. Let's get started. You'll find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link below the video in the description. So the first step is to make sure that you display the cart icon and the cart quantity in the Divi menu. And for this to work, you have to use the Divi theme builder to create your menu. So let's head over to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to Divi and theme builder. And in here, I go to my global header and I'll edit my menu module by clicking the cogwheel. And in here, I go to elements in the content tab and I make sure that show shopping cart icon is set to yes. And I also want to display the show cart quantity. So it should look like this up in the right corner. Now we will do some design settings when we are here in the theme builder. So I'll go to the icons tab and uh, I want to change the cart icon color from this greenish color to 333. Three, three. So that's a dark gray color. And uh, I want to change also the sizing of the cart icon. So I'll drag this one up to maybe 25. And now you can see that uh, the items, cart quantity items text inherited this size. So I don't want that. So I'm going down to cart quantity text tab expand that one and we will actually use a pretty small size here 10 pixels and uh, this is for the number to fit into our little bubble that we are going to create in the next step I will also change the cart quantity font to poppins but you can use any font you like and I want to have it bold and uh, now I will actually change the cart quantity text color to white now it's black um, like that. So now you won't be able to see it for now because the background is white. So it's white text on white background, but we will fix that in the upcoming steps. But we're going to use a colored background for the card quantity number. So that's why we want to have the card quantity text color white. So we will save and we'll exit, save and exit. And I will save my theme builder settings as well. So that was step number one, and we can actually preview this in front end just to see the result. And now you will just see the cart icon. And if I highlight here, you can see that we have the white text saying one item because I've added one item to the cart before. The next step is to hide the word items beside the cart quantity number that will not fit into our Shopify design. So to do that, I will actually install a nice little lightweight plugin, completely free, called Say What. So I'll go to Plugins and add New. And from here, I'll search for Say What. And I click Install Now. And as you can see, it has four and a half stars out of five and 30,000 active installations. So I think this is a pretty solid plugin and I've used it on several websites. And now you can go to tools and text changes because we want to change the text items and simply replace it with nothing. So I click add new in the top and I'll go to the blog post and I'll copy the original string, which is the number of items, the text domain, that's Divi. The text content is the WooCommerce items number. 
and we want to replace that with the string that's just the number of items without the actual word items in it. Now we have to do this one more time and that's to remove the word item in singular when we have one item in the cart. And everything else is actually the same as before. It's text domain divi. It's WooCommerce items number. So you should keep the S in items there. It's the same context. And replace it with just the items number. Perfect. Let's try it out in front end just to see that the items text disappeared. And if I highlight here, you can see that it's just the number and the text items is gone. Okay, let's head over to step number three, and that's adding the circle background to the cart quantity. So now we will finally see how it looks like. So I will copy this CSS snippet by clicking the squares. And I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard. I'll go to Divi, Theme Customizer, and I'll go to Additional CSS. And in here, I'll paste the snippet. And now you can see that we actually have our nice little round circle background to the cart quantity and it overlaps the cart icon in a nice way in the bottom right corner. And uh, that was step number three. Step number four, that's where we will change the cart icon to a bag icon. And we will use a little CSS snippet and use one of the Divi font icons to add a bag icon. So I'll simply copy this CSS snippet and I'll head over to my additional CSS and I'll paste it below the other CSS. And voila, here we have our nice shopping cart icon that's now a shopping bag in the Shopify style, I guess. So if you would like to change this icon to any icon like a custom image, a PNG or SVG, there's actually a link here in the blog post on how to do that. And you can also download a free shopping cart icon pack with the SVG and PNG images that I have created. So check that out if you uh, don't want to use this particular icon that I used, but I think it looks pretty good. So the next step is to hide the cart quantity zero when the cart is empty. So if we preview this in front end, we can see now that it says one item. But if I go to my cart and I remove this product, you can see that it says zero. But in Shopify, it says nothing here when the shopping cart is uh, empty. So to fix that, Let's just publish the custom CSS first. We need to add a little snippet to our functions.php file. So you need to have a child theme to do this, or you can use a free plugin like code snippets, but I recommend that you use a child theme. And if you don't know how to do that, you can just click the link here and create a child theme for free. So I start by copying this snippet. I go back to my WordPress dashboard, appearance and theme file editor. If you can't find this link, it's probably because the security settings in uh, your WordPress installation. You could also use an FTP client or you can uh, go to the file manager in your web hosting account to access your functions.php file. But make sure that you are editing your child theme because if you're editing the uh, Divi, functions.php file, the original parent theme, it will be overwritten the next time you update it. So I make sure that I'm in my Divi child theme and I'll go to functions.php. I'll go to the bottom and I'll paste the snippet and I click update file. Now, if we preview this in front end, you can see that the card quantity now is hidden when uh, the cart quantity is zero. And uh, let's see here if I have a product, my test product, and we can add one product to the cart, add to cart. And there we can see that one cart item or 
two cart items will actually display in the cart icon. But if I remove it, it will be hidden. So that was step number five. So step number six is to add a hover effect to the cart icon. And this is maybe the least important thing in this tutorial. So if you hover the Shopify cart icon, it will expand a little bit. And if you like that effect, then you can copy this CSS snippet. You go back to your WordPress dashboard. We go to Divi, theme customizer, and additional CSS. And I'll add the snippet. And now if I hover, you can see that it expands a little bit on hover. That's all for today. Feel free to like and comment this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.